What's up, guys? No, you haven't seen me in forever. I know. Trying times. So, initially what I'm going to um, talk to you guys about today is how to build your own popper respiration system. Let's go. All right, so this is the schematics for the system I built. Well, any general system. So, for a popper system, um, as you guys know what's going on in the world today, and with the whole respiratory issues with all COVID-19 and whatnot, um, you know, for health workers like me and many others, we need protection against these. So um, a system like this is very expensive. I'm telling you approximately two grand. I mean, for a really good one, you know, for protection and whatnot. But um, so instead of spending that money, I decided to build one myself. Now, Disclaimer, this is not to replace an actual popper system, but this is just for protection in times of need, which we are in right now. So I'll just show you what's going on with mine. I'm sorry for the shadow to begin with. So I'll use something to point with. Okay, Um. so this is the general parts. I have a electric pump, HEPA filter, a hose leading up to uh, a hood. Right, um, the entrance in the hood is the back, and there's also a pop of um, a uh, uh, HEPA filter right here. All right, so the arrows are showing you the airflow. All right, so let's start with the the electric pump. So, I mean, this is just a drawing, but I'll show you the actual pump from the box in a second. All right, so yeah, this is the pump. We have a, this is the, um, the point at which it sucks air in from the top, fans in here and blows it out here. Very simple electric pump. All right, here it is. So two-way electric pump. All right. So it sucks air in here, blows it out. Very simple. All right. Now this system does not have any filters or anything to like guard us against, um, airborne or respiratory viral bacterial anything right so this is the job of the HEPA filter the HEPA filter is right here all right so it's a King's HEPA filter I don't have one um, to just show right now but it's a yeah it's a King's HEPA filter all right it's attached to a nebulizer hose now this nebulizer hose is pretty much the hose um, they give for nebulizer treatments or you know any hose that can fit this or you could make a, a little um a little device to fit them on some zip ties or whatever hose clamp is pretty good as well but that's pretty bulky um and then it leads up to a next hepa filter here so it's a double hepa filter and this hepa filter locks it into the back of the mask where the entrance of the hose is supposed to be all right so this locks it in so the air flow is pretty um, locked in following the arrows into the hood all right so the main part is you want it to get over your face all right so if you want this it can come up a little more here but as long as the air is blowing this way over the head because if it's blowing down like this it just exits there so it blows over the head and it keeps the face clear all right this is the the visible part of the ma um the hood so this is how you this is a general overview of how you want the airflow to to go about. All right, so our my hood is a uh, um Allegro um 9910-10 hood. So this is for supplied air respiration. Um it's it goes between both low and high pressure. Um but for this one it's just going to give you 400 RPMs, a standard um popper system is going to give you around uh, 150 to 170 based on viral load 170 is on the high end of high with high viral load so this gives you around um 350 to 400 rpms which is much higher than than the any any popper system but this is also based on our battery input and for battery input i'll show you what is our power and how we manage to make this system portable Alright guys, so this is the the whole um, 
filter setup I I kind of rigged myself so this is the the pump input output um on the you know controls on and off yada yada and this is where the input for the the power goes so this is plugged into a portable battery system it's just one of those regular phone charging battery systems um for this one it's a little stronger i think it's on uh, just i can't remember the specifics since i got it as a gift a very long time ago but this holds its charge for more than eight hours give or take on full on full like you know power usage essentially like charge on a laptop or something so so this is generally what i made and how it, it packages with a little strap strapping both to, to each other a little clip to unlatch it if you like all right and then it's attached to this old um backpack this is just a backpack strap cut and then just like sewn at the end here so these are sewn together this part is like a separate part from a different strap and then you know this clips on together and it's just um and it's just it's just suited for me so you know this is not like really adjustable you could always make it adjustable by making a longer strap this one is just pretty much for me all right so this is how I it's generally packaged or how I packaged it yeah and uh, it's kind of bulky but it's a proper system it's supposed to be a bit bulky so um, we covered the battery battery system um, yeah and then when you're ready just turn it on and it goes here right out here Go ahead. Uh, there you go. Uh, it goes in. So, this is the initial part of the system. This one right here. Now I'll go over the hose and the hood with you guys. All right. So, this is the hood I bought. Now the main reason I wanted a hood is because I don't want to cut my beard, and then I have long hair as well. So, like you know, I just don't want to have a n95 that's not going to make any sense it's just going to cut the you know my my respiration um you know debris but it's not going to completely eliminate it so this is my hood all right pretty spacious this is the the intake for the hood in the back here all right there's a little if you can see in here there's a little there's a little tab here that doesn't directly expose the inside to the outside so it goes upwards as you can see so that also directs the air to the top of your head all right and in here let me just feed the hose a little more show your next um my next viral filter so the viral, viral filter also doubles as a stop for the hose to not there it is so yeah it does it just locked right in there yeah so yeah that doubles as a stop for the hose not to fall through or anything you know undoing so that that um that connection you want to make sure it's really strong all right so that's my hood this is my twin um i'll, I'll put it on in a minute but yeah since we we got everything there it is and this is the hose this hose was really long so i had to cut it but i cut it at the notches like there's a notch here just cut it right between the two and then just attach it so this is my next this is the king's um the king's hepa filter uh this is a different brand but i don't know i got it from um one of these respiration thingies you could also use these respiration stuffs to attach to the the pump itself but it doesn't fit and then you kind of need like a, a bracket for it to fit and um you just kind of go in the easiest way possible you know and also don't want it too bulky it's already pretty bulky but yeah so this is my system all right and i'll i'll strap up put it on myself for you and i'll uh, 
I'm not going to turn it on so you could see some some fog action all right as you can see I'm fogged up I'm in the system so there it is it's attached to me I don't know if you can see this but let's turn it on because I am tired all right here we go all right I can feel the air and there we go, the fog's disappearing. Alright. So the battery system I have is not on its full potential. There we go, the fog's gone. So you can see. Alright, and I could feel the air rushing over my face. It's not that, it's not, as I said, it's not that strong. But it's um, it's gonna do the job, and you could always change the battery pack. I'll probably change my battery pack. But yeah, alright, let's get back to the table. Alright, guys, so there you have it, DIY popper system. As I again, I'll just um, I'll just put this out there. It's probably not gonna be as good as your old pop system. It's probably gonna last as long as this electric pump holds up. Let's hope it's gonna get us through like each patient contact as a you know but the battery is going to last longer than anything else so rated for eight hours which is it's done i've been on camping trips isolation camping a lot of stuff with that battery itself and it lasted throughout like a week straight so yeah this is my first time building one of these um together with a lot of research and uh field experience um i kind of get some stuff put together um as i said Things that you can replace, the nebulizer hose, you could use a regular vacuum hose or a smaller hose that can fit. Any hose can fit. Um, you want a bendable hose so you could like, you know, maneuver it when you're, when you got to put the full suit on. Um, the pump, I'll link it in the description. Very simple pump off Amazon, which you just want to make sure you want, you know, the rating and whatnot and its power usage. Uh, the HEPA filters, I was lucky because I got it from this mask. This mask is also one of the masks I, I was using. Like, you know, it uses these parts. But I got a HEPA filter replacement for it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, good luck, guys. I know this is a really hard time for a lot of people, you know. Both healthcare professionals and patients and family members of patients and everyone in quarantine and who's unable to work a bunch of financial stuff you know together with my family it's the same it's a struggle everywhere i just want you guys to be safe um i'm putting this video out there not to replace anything again and not to tell you this is what you need but this is an alternative to in this hard time when there's no stuff probably available to make anything i know that sales for electric pump is probably not even in the ballpark of other things that are that are on the market right now so it's easy the shipping was quick um and you can source most of the other things like a battery the battery pack you could find a regular battery pack online make sure it's rated for a hundred uh a hundred volts to, to 40 volts uh like that is going to give you an ample power into the electric pump and it's fun um the connections as well you want the usb to to this uh adapter i don't even know its name but it's like the circular adapters let me see if i can show you Oi. yeah here this adapter right here yeah you want a usb to this or you could just make it like get like a regular car charger and just snip this attach a usb Whatever is going to work for you guys. I mean, if you guys have any questions, any concerns, any comments, ask me how it uses in the field. Uh, shoot it down below. Again, everything is, everything is going to be in the description. And uh, stay safe, guys. Peace. This is Project Gunner.